right away tell us that this is about the Odyssey pretty quickly. Um, so in the dream where Grover is running away, they don't say that it's a Cyclops that is following him, but it's it's almost clear to me in the sense that like the way that he describes the smell that like mm -hmm. there's a smell of blood and meat and stuff. And um, it, it does bring up that picture of the Cyclops who's kind of like a shepherd and and eats Odysseus's men like that. Um, but of course, the other the other hint we get is like honestly one of the most devastating monsters from the Odyssey, which is the Lystragonians. Um, so the chapter two is the dodgeball game, yeah, <laughs> which is a creative way to do it. So the story with the Lystragonians, it's like double devastating because something devastating happened before that. Um, Aeolus, the god of winds, gave them like a special bag and he had tied up all of the other winds except for the one that would direct them towards Ithaca, Odysseus's home. Mm -hmm. And so all of the other winds were packaged up in this bag and, you know, it was like release them when you get home kind of thing. And the men all of a sudden decide, oh, Odysseus is hiding something from us because for whatever reason, he doesn't tell them what it is. And they're like, there must be some sort of treasure in here from Aeolus. Let's look in the inside, which blows them back. He has to have this embarrassing conversation with Aeolus where he's like, I think you're screwed because like that happening means some God's mad at you. So like, <laughs> bye. Um, and uh, then they get to the Lystragonians. When they get there, they have 12 ships. They leave with one, like um, it's that bad. So they land on the island, he sends some messengers, and they go and meet the king. And the king immediately eats one of the three men that's there. So the <laughs> other two run and scamper back, and they had all parked their ships in this cove, except for Odysseus, and the cove was surrounded by cliffs. So these giant people are then hauling rocks at their ships that are down on the cliffs, and since Odysseus wasn't parked there, he just cuts his losses and leaves. And the rest of the ships get massacred. Like they, they talk about the Lystragonians like spearing them like fish to take back home to eat. So it's like, it's really, really devastating. You think he lost 11 ships of men. And um, so the fact that that's the very first monster, like mm -hmm. looks pretty intense. And the fact that Tyson takes them on, on his own, um, like pretty much, yeah the one thing with percy jackson world that i think is really funny is that they call the last dragonians because it's hard to pronounce they call them canadians <laughs> and it's like a thing in all of the books and it re reading this reminded me there's this really funny scene in the heroes of olympus books when percy has the one when he has amnesia mm -hmm. one of the kids that are with him is actually actually canadian <laughs> Frank oh is gosh. actually Canadian and you know Percy has amnesia he doesn't really remember that much and they run into the them when he has amnesia and they're and the kids like Hazel and Frank don't haven't are they're still like babies like they haven't really seen a lot of monsters so they're like what the hell are those things and Percy with amnesia oh they're Canadian well they're Canadians and actual Frank an actual Canadian is like excuse me <laughs> I was just like, this is wonderful <laughs> that he, when he has amnesia, he remembers that they're called Canadians and nothing else. He doesn't actually know what they really are. He just knows that they're called that. And I'm like, that's thank you, Rick Riordan, for that, because that made me laugh remembering that scene. <laughs> Yeah, and they're actually his half brothers, by the way, which is uh, sometimes Rick nods towards those things. And sometimes he doesn't. He doesn't mention it here, but um, they are children of Poseidon. So that was also interesting. But I thought the dodgeball angle, like yes. taking that hurling rocks at the ships and turning that into dodgeball was a pretty cool idea. I like that, too. And I, I it was also just like a good kind of scary thing to start with like the idea of them in like gym class where he can't have his weapon with him even yeah. if he wanted to because they can't when you're in gym class you have to wear stupid clothes <laughs> when you're in gym and so he doesn't have it with him and so he's literally just like cornered and can't get away or do anything 